What is the longest you've gone without knowing a person's name? My next door neighbor introduced himself when he moved in. I promptly forgot his name. I danced around it for that same five years. He was from a French-speaking part of Canada. So when talking with my wife, he was French guy next door. Five years after first meeting, he admits in a conversation that he'd forgotten my name. We have a good laugh and reintroduce ourselves. His name was Guy. I had it right the whole time. He was French guy next door. French guy next door, not be confused with Venezuelan guy next door. That's a different guy. I moved into my condo in 2011 and I introduced myself to my one neighbor next door to me but instantly forgot his name. We would see each other in passing for years and I would always just say hi in the casual conversation. I met my wife in 2018 from a long distance relationship and when she finally moved in with me there was the awkward moment when I introduced her to hi monsieur I said this is my fiance x and we're getting married next month. He said congratulations and nice to meet you. Then walked away. She asked me what his name was and I said I have no fucking clue. Later that day she said his name is Brad and I was like oh. He looks like a Brad and she said he had no fucking clue what my name was either so no big deal. The fact that neither of you knew each other's names for that long and neither of you got caught is just hilarious. My name is apparently Darren to this nice couple who own a restaurant in my town. My name is not Darren. I've known them for two years. We're even Facebook friends. They can literally see and read my name. But it's cool. I always wanted to try being a Darren. I like this reply the best Darren. I've been on the receiving end of this. My nickname in college was The Mayor and I had people I had known for years coming up to me asterisk asterisk it. My graduation asterisk asterisk saying I had no idea your name was actually Dan. Quote. 1. Happy Cake Day 2. How do you end up with a nickname like Mayor? Let me see if I can get my old roommate to answer that paging you. Man Dog Jr. Very few people did know your actual name. The nickname came from me being very drunk and random people that lived in your dorm coming into your room and saying, Hi. I was so confused because people never did that in my dorm the randomly walking in part. So I said, Wow, everyone knows you. You're like the mayor around here. I love this. Thanks for dropping in to slam some Dan lore on us. The whole school year I knew their names I just didn't know which twin was which and they weren't identical. I have two cousins named Matthew and Martin. They are not twins and don't look anything like each other. But I have no idea which one is which. I've lived in my townhouse for almost five years now. And I don't know the name of the guy who lives directly across from me. I have pretty regular interactions with most of my neighbors. But I've never talked with this one guy beyond just exchanging pleasantries while passing each other. When I moved in and first met him, I immediately forgot his name. I was almost positive he said it was Mike. So I went about four years just assuming that was probably his name. But not quite confident enough to actually call him Mike. Then a few months ago I was talking to some other neighbors in the parking lot when he walked by. And my other neighbors called out, Hey! Name that is not Mike. So it was confirmed that this guy's name is not, in fact, Mike. And I was relieved I hadn't been calling him that for the past five years. But I immediately forgot again what his name actually is. So now all I know is that it is something other than Mike. Maya B. I'll learn his name by the time I've lived here ten years. Why don't you get someone to break your arm? Then you can get it plastered up and ask him to sign your cast. Think I am going to try this. My cousin gave birth to a baby girl like a year ago and I still don't know her name. Maybe you can wait a few years until she's four or five and ask if she can spell her name. She'd be excited to do it for you. Gonna be trouble if she spells it completely wrong. Most likely over a decade. I'm in the UK and I've got to know many a bar acquaintance down my local pub. Over time you get to know about their work, hobbies, likes and dislikes. 
You get to know how many kids they have, how many times they have been married etc etc. Then a friend from out of town visits you. And as you do in the UK, you go to the pub. Lo and behold your pub acquaintance is there and you introduce your pal from out of town only to realize you know everything about your pub pal, everything except their bloody name. Illa 16 age 49. The whole date. Someone fixed us up but my dude never told me her name. Just the address she wanted me to pick her up. I didn't have guts to ask her name between the date. Edit. She became a long time GF after that date and we laughed about it forever. Once made it 4 to 5 dates including staying at her place twice. I just had her saved in my phone as cutie, bar X, and then avoided saying her name. Finally the second time at her place she went to the bathroom and sneaked a peek at her stack of mail to find her name. TFW when you think you're calling her name and it's actually her roommate's name Ice. Work in a pharmacy. A young woman, say late teens early 20s, came up and asked to pick up her grandmother's prescription. I said no problem monsieur what's her name? She looked at me with a blank face. Asked me to hold on and called her family. This one is hilarious. I'm a waiter. There are lots of customers who are regulars and I've known them for years. Some of them close to a decade. Very few of them I know their names. Some of them get nicknames amongst the staff. Some favorites are Twix Man, as he would always leave a Twix chocolate bar with a tip. Emma and Stacy Carrot one two sisters who used to come in a lot. I know their names but not which one is which. The vegans, a young couple who were vegan but really cool. I do know their names now to be fair. Waiting is funny like that. First they're randoms then you get to know them in their order and then you become familiar but never exchange names. I've had many like half strength flat white man, two glasses of white wine cup or gluten free, dairy free, fructose free lady. I had a construction crew that came to town for a couple months since they were out of towners and we were the only restaurant in town. They ate three meals a day every day where I was working. We called them the boss, the cowboy and the convict. The boss would come in every morning, give orders and line out the day. The cowboy, wrangler jeans, boots and a cowboy hat. The convict, white t-shirt and jeans every day, kept his head down and wrapped his arms around his plate when he ate. This was 20 years ago and I still don't know their names. My parents, five years at least. Same I thought the your name was Mummy and Daddy. Legitimately. Until I realized other children were calling their mummies and daddies. And so I went to ask my parents what their name was. I remember asking my mom what my middle name is. So I really didn't know my own full name. The guy around the corner I buy weed from has just been the weed guy for three plus years. A lot of us know weed guy. Dog park people. We see each other and talk almost every day but they're always dogs name mom, dad. I'm sure at some point their name come up, but I just keep forgetting. My dog's groomer does this too. Like I walk in and she yells. My dog's name, S mom is here. Makes sense she spends way more time with him than she does with me lol. I work at record store. There's a guy who's been coming in weekly for the entire 11 years I've worked there. We just call him sweaty Polish guy. He always pays with cash. A true Eastern European. Dating my girlfriend for a year. Still don't know her name. Premarital name knowledge is a sin. Unexpected Mormon. Lol they have been dating for a year. Come on if he was Mormon they would already be married. S. This is about a person who refused to learn my name. I'd moved away from my hometown. This dude, let's call him Matt, had started hanging out with friends of mine. I'd come back to visit from time to time. Matt would be there, and I'd introduce myself every time. This went on for about three years. Every single time I saw him, he would extend his hand to me for a shake and say, Hi, I'm Matt, and who are you? The part that rubbed me the wrong way was that he always asked, and who are you? I kept letting 
ago, including one time at a memorial for a very close friend who had passed. Up walks Matt, extends his hand to me and says again, Hi, I'm Matt, and who are you? I mean, who am I? Just some dude grieving, and decided this wasn't the time or place and let it go again. Not a year later, another friend passes. This happens again at the next funeral. I'm asked and you are and I walked away this time. Later that night, some mutual friends invite me over for some drinks and to remember our lost friend. Well guess what? Here comes Matt. Twice in one day I get and who are you? My heart is broken. And this person who pretends I don't exist is questioning my existence again. I turn to the mutual friends we have. Explain to them that this is exactly what I have been telling them Matt does and it drives me crazy. So I explain to Matt that I am sick of his game and that we'd met dozens of times throughout the years. And questioning who I am in the houses of people I grew up with is hurtful and feels at times like an attempt to remove me from the only group of friends I've had since I was a kid. He admits he knew my name the entire time and he's sorry because he claimed he was just trying to protect his friends. From what? He claimed from someone he didn't know, but also didn't bother to ask them about, or even feign enough interest to act like a decent human, and address a friend of a friend by name. He's just a petty asshole. Maybe your friends talk you up and make you sound awesome, and he's jealous. He does this shit to put you in your place and make himself feel better. Oh. For sure, the confrontation at the end of my rant was late 2016. And he's corrected himself, sometimes I wondered if I was being the petty one. But nah, dude was being a dick. Matt is a dick, I once worked with a man for 3 years and didn't learn his name. Best friend I ever had. We still never talk sometimes. Ron, is that you? I have to delete this app, I've said too much. 10 years. The people from my office but from different division. They seem to know me and often call me out when I passed by. But I don't know their names and at this point it seems awkward to ask them. This is the worst. I work in a warehouse with a pretty big sales staff. Maybe 40 to 50 people. 90% of our interactions are over the phone. So I know a bunch of names but am not entirely sure which faces they match up to. My one year is quickly approaching. The company website might have clues. The exterminator that came to my parents' house every month to spray it had a very long Polish last name. Many consonants. Few vowels. People tried to pronounce it, but just couldn't. Instead, they simply referred to him as the bug man. I thought everyone called the exterminator the bug man regardless of name. At work we have this old dude who drives shuttles. His name is Ron. I say, hey Ron, every time I see hi monsieur or five years down the road I see Ron standing next to another old dude. Turns out we have two shuttle drivers. I've been saying, hi Ron, to the other guy 50% of the time for five years. Does this count? Your brain's facial recognition might not be operating at optimal levels. My entire life I still don't know everyone's name. Hi, I'm Dick, Mr. Nipples to anyone else. Decades. I meet a lot of people thanks to my job and I have a fairly distinct name so folks seem to remember. Me. Between my weed smoking and shitty memory I kinda gave up. You're seriously the only Rex of vision I ever met. LOL. When guys named Rex meet we have to take a few minutes to share stories of futilely shopping for vanity license plates and the worst dog dinosaur insults we've ever gotten. Usually takes about 5 minutes. A little over 7 years. Really tall redneck that was kind of a dick where I work. It's an analytical laboratory. He brought his samples from one of the production areas. I'm apparently responsible for his nickname. Big fucker. I called him that big fucker early on. People misheard me and the name stuck. Sorry Timus you're ya pig fucking jerk. Years. You must not own a dog. I know all the neighborhood dogs names. But their human counterparts? Nope. It's too late to ask at this point. I'm the same. I know my neighbor's dog's name. 
and they know my kid's name, but we don't know each other's names. LOL. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.